After nine games in the league, we have dropped a grand total of 12 points, and we are still up in fifth place, only six points away from PSG. Now, I'm not saying that we are going to win the league this year, but if we can underperform like this and still be up in fifth, imagine what would happen if we actually sorted our form out. Hello guys and welcome back to the third episode of Replicating Renew with Strasbourg where today we are playing against Paris Saint-Germain in the league earn. This is going to be an insane game and it really will set the tone for how the rest of the season will go. Since last time out we have been up and down just like last time I left you guys where we drew two games against uh, Monte Pilar and Leo again, not pronouncing that right. Uh, I feel like this series is currently just a collection of me mispronouncing names. But the games that you guys missed were all of these. And again, a mixed bag to say the least. A loss against Saint Etienne, which wasn't too disappointing. A loss against Renes, which was really disappointing. A draw to Monaco, which could have gone a lot worse. A win against VAFC. And then a win against our former side Toulouse away from home. 7-0. We played incredibly well in this game. I don't know what made us play well, but we did, and hopefully we can take that momentum straight into the game against Paris Saint-Germain, which we're going to take no time messing about. Well, actually, I'm probably going to talk for about a minute here, knowing me. Uh, this is the squad that we're going with. Unfortunately, we have an injury to Pennant. He's been playing out on the right wing for us and doing quite a good job out there. Unfortunately, he's not available, so we are bringing in other players, and hopefully they can do a solid job. It's pretty much a full-strength squad apart from that. I'm feeling mildly confident that we should be able to come away with at least a point, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to absolutely go at the team if we do lose against PSG at home. So let's jump straight into it, and hopefully we can cause a little bit of an upset. Wait, hold, hold the phone, hold the phone, we're not ready to go just yet. I just remembered that I have made some deals since you guys left us, and I think it's only these three that you guys haven't seen. A central defensive midfielder who plays as that ball-winning midfielder, so he's just a rotation option. Then we brought in a second goalkeeper for a very cheap fee, so we don't mind that at all. And also another lone player who is not going to take up much wage bill, so I couldn't resist, to be completely honest. And then a couple of sales over here, including the sale of our second uh, left back, who we sold for a pretty good fee, so I'm not complaining about that at all. And we also loaned out our other goalkeeper, who was our second goalkeeper previously. That's not him. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, he's... Yeah, he's there. He's there. I knew he was in there somewhere. But now we can actually go on to the match against PSG. I mean, their squad is pretty impressive. You know, Neymar, I mean, Harry Kane, a couple of others, I can't remember. Uh, Marquinhos, Bentecure. Yeah, it's a pretty special one. Hopefully we can break it down at some point during this game and score a goal or two. But straight off the bat, they've gotten the first shot. Doesn't mean much in the grand scheme of things just yet, but the first opportunity does look like it might be going their way. Neymar Jr., Neymar Jr.? Who calls him Neymar Jr.? Maybe his dad on the ball, trying to get a shot away, but no match for Zinedine Zidane's son. And well, I, I still don't know if it is Zidane's son, but I'm, I'm mildly confident it is. And from the corner, they still can't get a better opportunity than that. And it does stay nil all. 20 minutes gone, well, almost 20 minutes gone. And we're holding our own quite well. They have a free kick in a very promising area, though. A header goes well over the bar, and I'd like to see us trying to do a little bit more and being a little bit more adventurous, to say the least. Uh, let's try asking them to get creative and see if that can persuade them to get out of their comfort zone, think outside the box, and create some opportunities for us, and not just sit back and hope that we can get a nil or draw against the squad. And it looks like it may have worked. We've gotten a little bit more position now. We're getting a couple of shots in. Don't get me wrong, not as many as them, but... At the end of the day, if we are going to win this game, it's always going to be an upset. And we could get an upset if we are lucky. Neymar on the ball, playing it back. And now they can build up from the back. Oh my gosh, they're taking notes from me. They, they know I'm a good manager. They know that my tactics are sound. And they're just doing exactly what we do. Honestly, if they score here, it's basically a goal for us because they're stealing our tactics. Luckily for us, they don't put it into the back of the net. Neymar, definitely the main man for them, creating all of the chances that they've had so far. 
but unfortunately for him, can't put any into the back of the net. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I'd bet anything you like. Neymar is going to score a goal now that I've said that. They are on the ball, whipping the ball into the middle, but a great save by our goalkeeper to stop the ball from getting into their strikers, and we are able to create a counter-attack ourselves. The right winger that we have had to bring in on the ball, playing it over to Neves, and this is where we need to hit quickly. Neves, one-on-one with the goalkeeper, kind of, oh, a bit of a scramble. Eventually it goes out for a goal kick. But that would have been a very, very good way to go into halftime. But it is nil all. Oh, it's not nil all just yet. The halftime whistle has not gone. And Neves has another bite at the cherry. Going quite wide, but a great save by their goalkeeper. A comfortable save by their goalkeeper. Means that at halftime, I can honestly be quite happy with their performance from the side. I'm going to tell them I'm happy with their performance. I don't want the levels to drop. But, I mean, when you do that, I always feel like, they take it as, oh, well, we don't have to try anymore, but hopefully they don't take it as that in this game, and they know that they need to keep it up. Keep going. This is PSG that we're playing not to lose anymore, and it is a game that we can't afford to lose. Oh my gosh, that, I think that's the funniest thing I've ever said on my channel. I, I don't know how I haven't made that joke before. I did a, a whole season with to lose, and I never thought of that joke. That is That is class. Someone put that in one of those like five dollar joke books that you get as a kid that that would honestly go for for millions a football based uh joke book oh my gosh oh, maybe i should quit this youtube thing you know it's not it's not racking in the dollar bills for me just yet maybe i should start a joke book a, a football themed joke book telemans what can i make a pun out of with that uh telemans no, no, okay, I, I tried and I failed, that's that dream gone, but I guess I'm going to have to stick with football manager content for now at least, well, and university, well, I, I say university on the side, this is, this is more my side thing, <laughs> but anyway, focusing on the game, I always do this, I always go on a massive tangent and completely forget that I'm playing a game of football manager, we are still doing quite well, nothing happening, I would take a draw, I wouldn't love a draw, but if you realise that you're playing against PSG and the form that they're in, they haven't lost a single game just yet. This is a pretty good result. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. They're in our half. They're in the right area. A ball goes into the middle. Telemans out. To, oh, 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 Zidane. Beautiful man. Honestly, whew, that was stressful. Okay. When you talk about a goal line scramble, it, also, Zidane didn't even like pick it up well. He, he absolutely scrambled it across the, um, uh, well, not across the line, uh, in front of the line. Didn't even get his hands onto it. So I guess you can say we're lucky to end up with a nil all draw. Clean sheet is not too bad at all. We could have been the first side to hold them to a clean sheet this year. Let's, let's take a look because, you know, I just want to pat myself on the back a little bit more. Uh, no, AS Monaco. But, you know, we're, we're not as good as AS Monaco. Come on. No, honestly... I feel like that's an achievement. We're going to jump straight into the next game in the episode, which is against Nice. And we're going to hopefully go up the table a little bit more. We're up in third. I imagine we won't be there at the start of the next game. But for now, let's enjoy it. All right, we're ready for the next game. I think I'm ready. I think that you guys are ready. Let's jump straight into it. This is the squad that we're going with. I'm about to sneeze. Give me a sec. Good thing I'm an amazing editor, able to just cut that one out. But this, as I said before, is the squad that we are going with. I think it is the exact same squad that we used in the last one. To be honest, I took a wee break after that one, just because I needed to go to sleep. It was getting late, but now we're straight back into it. Hopefully we can continue a wee bit of a solid run that we've got going on right now. A draw, a draw against PSG, a win against Toulouse. I mean... Two pretty solid results. Hopefully we can keep it going against Nice in this match. Let's just take a look as to where Nice are in the table. Where are they? Down in 13th place. So you really would be expecting us to do quite well up against them today. But if we don't win this game, we will definitely be moving down the table. Considering the fact that uh, Mon Mon Montpil Montepil I always just call them Montepila, but I I'm sure that's not being pronounced properly are currently winning their game against Nates. Is it Nates? I swear that I swear that's how you pronounce it. But there's an N there. 
I need to take some French classes, honestly. 30 minutes gone, no chances to speak of just yet. Come on, I hope that the game heard that and is hoping to prove me wrong. No? Maybe? First half? Going away? Quickly? You know, if you want to give us an opportunity, it needs to happen in the next few minutes, in the next few seconds now. Yep, okay. Mm, okay, bland first half. <laughs> Couldn't convince football manager to give us an opportunity there. I'm far from pleased from what I've seen. We need to do a lot better in the second half. Hopefully we do do that here. And I'm definitely going to think about making some changes if things don't change on the pitch. We'll give it another 5-10 minutes, see what happens. But I'm expecting this to be a pretty bland affair unless I make a switch. So that is what I'm going to do right now. Who should we bring on though is the real question. Let's try Paolo Henrique instead of Cissé because Cissé doesn't seem to be having a very good game. And you know what, let's give this man a chance up top. He's the man that we brought in. Uh, on a free very early on in the season. I'm hoping that he can make a wee bit of an impact. I think it might be his debut. Oh, he's not got the best match condition. I think I'm playing him for the under-20s. Well, I slightly regret that decision to bring him on now. But if he scores, I will certainly feel vindicated for that decision. We have our first chance of the game, finally, in the 72nd minute. And it looks like it could be their opportunity, unless we make a good tackle here, which we do. Paolo Enrique running up the pitch, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but a good save means that it is a corner for us. And I think we're going to be able to see that one. A ball going into the middle. Anyone can get their head onto it? No, unfortunately. We still have it, though. But unfortunately, that looks like it's going to be the end of the chance. It's a clear it, and it goes out for a free kick. For a throw-in, that's what I mean. Not free kick. Five minutes ago, and yeah, it's a it's a it's a bland one to say the least. That one chance that we did see wasn't even that exciting, and apart from that, nothing's happened. So I think it's going to be a nil or draw. I'm not going to lie, but we're going to do everything we can to avoid that from happening, and try this slightly different formation, and see if a substitute can come on, create a bit of a difference. Can we get an opportunity in the last few minutes? Of course an injury happens just as I make my last substitute. Three minutes of additional time, going down to one minute. And I think that that is game, set, and match. Two nil all draws, all episode. Yep. That's not what I expected after scoring seven goals up against uh, Toulouse in the game before we started this episode. But, you know what? That is okay. Two draws is probably... No, it's not actually better than I thought I would get. I thought I'd get a loss and then a win, so... Overall, we are one point under what I expected, but we end in the exact same position that we started the episode, fifth place, and that's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Thank you guys so much for watching, that is where we're going to end this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode on this channel. We upload daily Football Manager content, and I will see you all later.